scare near Times Square Friday night, packed with tourists preparing for New Year's Eve. The NYPD cordoning off the Intercontinental Hotel at 44th Street and 8th Avenue. That's where they say a group of kids tossed glass bottles from their 32nd floor window. One of them shattering on the sidewalk after hitting a young woman. I looked over and I guess all the cops surrounded her and stuff and people surrounded her running away from right that area. This couple is also staying in the room next door to them. There were p kids coming out of the room next to us and they were just running. They looked like they'd been caught. They were looking forward to seeing the ball drop but not this. This is my first day and it's been very crazy so far. The area already teeming with cops ahead of the celebration where security will be the top concern and priority. We will be out here with our canines, our horsebacks, our drones, our helicopters, our boats, the full complement. Three, two, one, happy new year. The confetti and the Waterford crystal ball have both been tested as nearly a million people are expected to pack the world's most famous celebration. We have a great uh, event lined up, great performances, 11 live performances here in Times Square. A massive area of Midtown will be shut down starting Sunday morning. Police are also ready for any possible Middle East war protesters looking to disrupt the party. We're expanding our zone from 6th Avenue to 8th Avenue, from 41st Street to 57th Street. That gives us a buffer zone so we can move quickly if we have to, like last year. It also gives us a, uh, a space between protesters not to come in here. And back to that bottle throwing incident nearby here. Police tell me the 24 year old woman who was hit suffered a laceration to the head. She's at Bellevue Hospital tonight, recovering with charges against some of the children pending.